Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Hey everyone, Luke MS Prime here, so it's time for another episode of Movie That Deserves a Sequel, and in today's video guys, I want to be covering this time an example of a post-apocalyptic action horror film, and this is actually a horror film which is not made by Hollywood, and it's a film that I decided to watch because, as you guys may know, I've lost my interest in watching things made by Hollywood these days, which is why I've decided to watch movies which were not made by them in other countries. And this has to be one of them because this film was, of course, made in South Korea. And this film I would definitely would love to see a sequel to is not other than, of course, 2020's Hashtag Alive. So, you guys are probably wondering what do I think of this film. So, as I just said, I gave this film a watch because I wanted to watch something which is not made by Hollywood. Because, in my opinion, they've lost their touch recently. And when I saw this film, guys, because it's a, it's a Netflix movie... I absolutely adored every second of it. It's by far one of my favourite zombie movies of all time. And I think it was just absolutely incredible from start to finish. It was phenomenal. And it was definitely, in my opinion, a way better film than pretty much everything Hollywood is putting out these days, in my opinion. Because I thought it was phenomenal. And, and the people who made this film, of course, um, they really did an amazing job. Uh, uh, Cho Il Hyung from the director's called... Um, the director just really nailed it, in my opinion, and I absolutely love, love this film. The people who made this film did a really amazing job, and the lead actors also gave amazing performances as well in the movie, and there was great visual effects and makeup as well, in my opinion, too. Just everything I would want in a zombie movie. This film was just absolutely incredible, and I really enjoyed it. And it definitely as well further increased my interest in watching more films which are not made by Hollywood, and... This film was just really amazing. So, on the topic of why I'd love to see a sequel to this film. So, as I just said, guys, I adore the movie. And when it comes, of course, to the ending of a movie, the film ends with, with the two main characters, of course, being Old Jun Woo and also Kim Yo Bin, of course, be running up to a rooftop after they are, are escaping large horde of zombies, following, of course, um, the the conflicts with the masked stranger, played by Jeon on Bai Su. And they, of course, run to the top, and just when it looks like all hope is lost, when they get to the top, and they nearly, of course, get, you know, eaten by the zombies, but, thankfully, a helicopter arrives just in the nick of time and is able to save them and carry them to safety. So, I think the film definitely ended on a, on a pretty epic cliffhanger, in my opinion, where the main characters survive, but... Obviously, of course, when the movie ends, the zombies are still out there, of course, in this outbreak, so... I would definitely really love to see a sequel to this, um, where the main characters come back and maybe even explore other areas of South Korea where, which have been infected by the virus, of course, with zombies. And maybe have the characters try and find a cure as well, because it's implied, of course, that, that um, the government is trying to restore control and, and of course, it is likely that, that, that a cure will be found, so... I definitely would really love a sequel, of course, which continues on from this cliffhanger, which brings up the main characters who survived. Maybe introduce new characters as well. Maybe, maybe of course, the soldiers. And also, as well, um, I think it, it would probably be really great, if not better than this movie. We'd have, we'd have to wait and see. Although, I will say, though, that it might be really hard to top this film, because, like I said, guys, I thought this film was absolutely phenomenal, and... And it's definitely, in my opinion, a lot better than anything Hollywood's put out recently, in my opinion, for the most part, that is. Because the people who made this film definitely really know how to do an amazing zombie movie. They really nailed it. And as a fan of zombie films, guys, I think they did a really phenomenal job. And I absolutely love this film. So I definitely think they deserve a chance to, to write a sequel and, and, of course, get the original director back and the main cast. So... I definitely would love to see a sequel because this film was fantastic and I, I really do hope it gets a sequel and I also would really love it if they did it theatrically because obviously of course this first film was released onto Netflix globally so I definitely think as well that it does deserve a theatrical release absolutely because because yeah this first film was phenomenal and I definitely think it should have got released in the theatres of course when they reopened in 2020 of course in the summer 
because obviously it got released onto Netflix in September 2020, so it makes me wish it got released in theatres as well when the cinemas reopened. But hopefully nowadays, they can hopefully get released because due to, of course, the strikes happening with Hollywood, they're not really going to be releasing much Hollywood films these days, are they? So this means the cinemas could have a chance to show international releases, which would be great, wouldn't it? So this could be one of them. A sequel to Alive would be amazing to see the cinema. I'd definitely go and see that, absolutely. Because... This film was just an amazing ride from start to finish, a great story and, and just incredible storytelling right there, done brilliantly and was perfectly paced for a 99 minute movie, just absolutely phenomenal. If you guys have not seen Hashtag Alive, I'd recommend it strongly because it was absolutely phenomenal and the main characters are great too. I could definitely relate to the main character because he's a video game live streamer, just, just like how I play games a lot, so. so yeah, I can definitely relate to the main character in that sense and that's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this movie. So, if you're on Twitter, guys, I'd recommend Hashtag Alive strongly, because it's, it's a phenomenal movie. Long story short, guys, I definitely think it's a big example, I can say, of, of a film that does deserve a sequel. Um, so, guys, this is me doing the next episode of the movie that deserves a sequel. I was, I was covering why, in my opinion, Hashtag Alive deserves a sequel. So, you know the drill, guys. Be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to model in the comments what you guys think of Hashtag Alive, if you've seen it, or what you think of it, and do you need a sequel or not? Let me comment below what you think. Also, be sure to join Team Prime by pressing subscribe on this coming in the future. If you would like to be a member, you can join using a piece of lads or you can all subscription, and I'll see you all later.